Let's wait for two thirty. Well, we're live, and hello, good evening, and welcome. Um, from, we're in sunny Florida, and uh, the wind outside actually is pretty good. Uh, before we get cracking, I'd just like to say, well done. This group last month put on more than 3,000 customers, which is a phenomenal achievement, particularly at this time of year. And special congratulations to Stefan Longwood's team, because yet again, for the third month in a row, it's been the fastest growing team, um, and both in customer numbers and distributor numbers, in the entire distributor channel. So Stefan and everybody, thumbs up. Good job. You can see I've got David sitting next to me. Hi, guys. And uh, many of you will know David, and a lot of you won't. So I'd like David to introduce himself, tell his story, and uh, then we're going to get cracking. So Dave, over to you. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, yeah, so my name is David Ross, and for those of you who don't know me, I work with uh, Clive and my mum on the distributorship. My former background is I was a high school teacher. I subsequently went on to set up my own successful chain of performing arts schools, which I later franchised out successfully. Um, in 2008, when we had the recession, it appeared that people had stopped investing in franchises. So I needed a plan B, which was when I was approached by Clive to come and join the distributorship. Um, he felt that I already had the skill set in order to help them drive the business and kind of push it forward. And, um, you know, there's been no looking back. So that, that's why it's here. And I'd just like to make it quite clear that David doesn't have his own distributorship. He's part of our distributorship, Leach Ross and Associates. He's a fellow director, so that's where he fits in. So last week, last week we talked about sponsoring and offering the opportunity one on one, uh, doing it locally. And when we say sponsoring one on one, hopefully it's better if we can sponsor with your pal and their partner. It's always better to do that. And we went into that great length, and uh, we've had a tremendous amount of feedback. And thank you very, very much. It really is appreciated. However. One of the biggest questions that we get asked an awful lot is, is how do you introduce somebody that you know well but is quite a distance from you? Let's pretend that you know you're in Portsmouth and you know they're in Manchester. And how on earth how on earth do you, do you set it up? Well, my best advice that I can give you is this. First of all, practice recruiting locally before you go long distance. Mm. Make sure that you have mastered the skill set of presenting. And the way you know when you've mastered it is when you're comfortable in teaching it to fellow team members. Because as soon as you get to that point, okay, then your business starts to take off. It starts going into momentum. When you can mm. start sharing that information with confidence and your business will grow. But let's get back to the scenario where you know, you, you're in Plymouth, you've got a pal in South Manchester, how are you going to do it? The, the problem you've often got in this scenario is that you moved from Manchester to Plymouth several years ago. So, you know, to start off with, you've had regular contact with your pal, but as time goes by, it gets a little bit less frequent, and now perhaps it's just Christmas cards, birthday cards, and that's about it. So if you suddenly get on the phone, and go, hey, it's me, not spoken to you in five years, but you need to do what I do and join this business. It's a bit like the opportunity shotgun, <laughs> boom, and you just blow them out of the water. And this is a relationship business, and you don't want to get into the sinking ship business. So we need to do it gently. So first of all, we have to make contact. Now, people of my generation, you know, will happily pick up the phone and chat. People of Dave's generation, whole things change, you know, with social media and all the rest of it. They they communicate differently than people like me. So Dave, take them through what you've been doing. Because I reason why I'm bringing Dave into this because I've been watching Dave doing this with his list quite recently, and he's had massive success. So Dave, over to you. Yeah, um, what I've been doing recently really isn't rocket science. Um, I have many people in my contacts list. I haven't spoken to for years, some of them six, seven years. And what I've started doing to rekindle those relationships is quite simple. We all have access to text, Facebook, email, 
And there's, there's nothing to stop you sending a quick message to, to one of your old pals just saying, look, hi Clive, um, it's just a quick message, I'm just updating my diary, I'm updating my contacts list, just wanted to make sure that this was still your number and I've still got your correct details. It's, it's nice, it's simple and it's effective and you'll usually get a positive response. So when you get a response from that person, hi Dave, yeah these are still my details, hope you're well, how are you keeping, whatever, it just begins a flow of conversation. So that can then lead me in to say, look, it's, it's great to hear from you, thanks for the info, I'd really like to catch up and have a chat with you, are you free one evening for a catch up, um, just name the time. And you'll usually get a positive response saying, sure Dave, you know, give us a call Wednesday evening, you know, after tea, whenever. Um, and that will then allow you to instigate a verbal conversation with the person. And again, when you establish verbal communication for the first time, you're not going to just launch into your pitch or you're not going to invite them to watch the opportunity straight away. But what it will allow you to do is it will allow you to reconnect with someone on a verbal level and rekindle a relationship. It's then that you've got to become a good listener and start asking them questions about themselves in order to establish whether they kind of qualify for the opportunity. Yeah, he's, he's absolutely right. You know, my generation, you know, we'll pick up the phone and say, I found your, your details in my, in my address book and I've realized I haven't spoken to you for and you know, I feel ashamed about it. How are you? And is it, you know, is it okay? You know, have you got some time for catch up now, or you know, would you want me to call on later in the week? And you know, you you sort that out. So the conversation starts one way or the other. And as Dave Wright says, you ask questions. You know, how's life? How's married life? How's the job? And listen, listen, listen. And of course, sooner or later, you know, uh, they're going to get around saying, well, what do you do? Now, don't go start rushing in with the opportunity. You know, tell them about what's happened to you in your life. Can I just say, can I just say, they will always, always ask you what you're doing. They, oh, will, yeah. they will always ask always. you that. Yeah. So you, you're going to have your in no matter how the conversation goes. Yeah. They're always going to say to you, well, what, what are you up to? You know, how's the job? And you can say, well, I'm still working for, you know, Acme Corporation, but I, I started a, a business of my own. It's brilliant and it's loads of fun. Now, this is if we get clever. You say, oh, I've started my own business, it's loads of fun. And you think, hang on a minute, I, why haven't I thought of this before? You, you're in Manchester and I, I, I'm in Plymouth. And knowing you because you're, you're a, you know, whatever your occupation is and you do it so well and because you're so open-minded, you, you, you might quite like doing what I do on a part-time basis because it's pretty profitable. I tell you what, if I were to send you a link to a two and a half minute video, would you watch it? And they're going to say yes, aren't they? Yeah, they are going to say They always say yes. One, one tactic I like to use is um, I like to relate it to them. So I'll say something along the lines of, Clive, look, you're a teacher. We have loads of teachers joining our business, and some of them are doing really, really well. It's fascinating. Um, there might be an interest here for you. If I were to send you a link to a short two-minute video, would you watch it for me? And then I'll drop in. It may or may not be of interest to you, but you might actually know somebody who is interested. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm relating it to their career path. So I'm making it real for them, but I'm also challenging them to think about other people they might know who would also be interested in the opportunity. So I'm getting them off to an early start. Yeah, uh, and, and that's all good stuff. So then, of course, they say, yes, okay, send me the link. And then, of course, it gets clever now because you can do one or two things. You say, okay, I'll send you the link. Okay, It's two and a half minutes. When will you watch it? I'll watch it straight away. Oh, okay. Well, look, why don't I hang up now, send you the link. It's only two and a half minutes. And why don't we speak a little later on? Five minutes, ten minutes? And you, you agree whatever you're going to agree. Okay? So now you need to send them a link. Now, I need to show you because I'm, I'm aware that quite a few people on this call aren't used to doing this. So what we're just going to do, I'm just going to what's called screen share. This is clever stuff, you know. Here we go. And we're just going to get into uh, our hosted websites. This is on your extranet. And this is exactly what you have on your extranet uh, in, your, uh, 
in your hosted website page here, okay? And we're going to send them the link here, which is this one. So all you need to do is copy and paste it. If I can get my fingers to work properly. Mm, da -da -da -da. Isn't this investment technologies just hits you like this? Let's try again. Here we go. I know that's what's wobbling, that's what's happening. Here we go. So we copy and paste it. And then you're going to send it. Maybe you were going to do this over Facebook. So, you know, if you were going to message David over Facebook, you would go to your message tab, you would send a new message, you'd address it to David, um, and then you would put the link in here, command V, and then the message is sent, all he's going to do is click on it, and boom, he's going to watch it. So, what well, after he's watched it, all you then need to do is follow up. So let me just come out of this, and we'll talk about how we follow up. So turn the screen share. Can I just add for those of you, yeah, please do who, those of you who like to email your uh, prospects as opposed to Facebooking, um, I have put a really good tutorial in the Leech Ross Facebook page, which you can read. Just there we go. Okay. So if you go and join up with our Facebook group in there, there's loads of really useful tools and resources. And there's a resource called Create Your Professional Email Signature. And it actually teaches you how to set up a professional um, email signature for your business, which links directly to your own sign-up forms, your customer sign-up form and distributor sign-up form. That's pretty cool. Quick and easy. So now, of course, you know, you're going to turn them up, and you're going to ask them the killing question. So, Dave, you've been doing this. Yeah. I, I, I'm the prospect. There's, Ask me the question. there's a few things you have to remember when you're doing this, uh, when, when you're doing what we call the follow-up, okay? The first thing that we did, we sent a link. That's the invitation. This is the follow-up. It's a separate part of the process. So I'll call the prospect and I'll go, Clive, hi, it's Dave. Hello, David. How are you? I'm good. We spoke 10 minutes ago. You sent me the link. Yes, we did. Now you'll notice I don't jump straight into it and go, did you watch the video? Okay? Depending on how much time has passed, I'll generally say, hi, are you okay? If it's an immediate callback, I'll just ask them, have you watched the video link? So, Clive, did you get to watch the video that I sent you? Yeah, I did. Super. What did you like best about what you saw? The money. Fantastic. So, if you were going to get involved with this business on a part-time basis, how much money would you expect to earn uh, per month? What would be a nice amount for you at the moment that you would like to earn? Well, I, I don't really know, but I'd like to, you know, if I get another £500 a month, that'd be really good. Okay. And with your current family circumstances and job situation, notice what I did there. I asked them about their family circumstances and job situation because that's one of the first things they're going to start to think about. So I'm already getting the question answered. So I will say, with your current family situation and job situation, how many hours a week do you think you'd be able to commit to this business? Um, well, I, I have to work it out, but top of my head, probably somewhere between five and eight hours a week. Okay, five to eight hours a week. And over how many months uh, would you want to work this business, um, you know, so you could get a good result? How many months would you be willing to commit? Well, I would going to get, say, £500 a month if I could do that in a year. That would Super. be good. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so if I could show you how to make £500 a month working just eight hours a week over a 12-month period, would you be prepared to take a second look? Yes. Okay. Which is fundamentally a very, very important question. Then comes exposure two. Remember, exposure one was the two and a half minute opportunity video, the link. Exposure two, in this case, is going to be the money video. So, what I will then say is, Clive. Yes. Would it be okay if I sent you a link just so you can have a look how we get paid in this business? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Because the prospect already told you, I want to make £500, I can commit eight hours a week, I'm going to do this over a 12-month period. We're already talking about money, so now exposure to, we want to show them the money. 
So would it be okay if I sent you a link to a short video which explains how the money works? Yeah, I really like that. Super. Then we're going to repeat the process and we're going to send them a link to the money video. So again, for, for the benefit of our newer team members here, okay, just let me show you where that is. Okay, so we get back into share screen mode here and we get into uh, this thing is what I want here. Your hosted websites. Just let me move this up to the top of the page so we don't make a mess of it. Okay. So again, your hosted website is going to be this tab here, okay, which is going to bring them back. It's going to bring them back to. It's going to bring. It's going to bring them back to Command C, and I'm going to put this in a different browser. So this is what your prospect will. I'm just going to mess with that. Sorry about this, folks. Isn't it modern technology is always frustrating when it doesn't work? Let's just try that again. So if we the, could, the good news, while, clients, talk, while, while, while I'm clients, fiddling, while clients doing this, the good news is the money video, the opportunity video, um, the hosted site video. You can actually all create individual links which point to these individual areas. So the actual this. sign up form, the hosted site, uh, the um, Opportunity video, you can actually have all these there links you know. all saved in your browser. You can have them all embedded in an email signature. So, all you have to do, literally, if somebody's interested, you will be able to whiz out the link straight away, boom, straight away, no messing around. So, now I've got my fingers to work properly. This is what uh, your prospect is going to see exactly that. So, obviously, they're going to press play. And they're going to get the two and a half minute video the first time around. So that's that, that's exposure one. one. That's and then exposure, exposure one. two. Is you're going to ask them to click on this link here, the business opportunity, and that takes them to the money video. And as you can see, it has its own URL at the top, which you can copy and you can store and yeah, on all that kind of yeah. Thing. The, there's that video top there. So in the top left hand corner. So obviously they're going to play this, okay, and away we go. So it's all very neat and tidy, and it works a dream. So let's get out of this sharing thing, and we can have a proper chat. And uh, we'll just do that here. Here we go. Let's get rid of this lot. Right, and we should be back on air momentarily. And here we go. And uh, there we are, back in the room. So at this point, um, once they've watched the video, I'm going to call them back. Again, this is all happening within the space of you know 30 minutes. Uh, and so I'll call Clive and go, Clive, hi, it's David. Yes, David. Um, so did you get a chance to watch the How the Money Works? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. And what did you like best about that video? Well, it seemed pretty straightforward to me. Okay. I, get the, I get the picture. The thing that I'm quite, quite intrigued about is I understood that you obviously make money from getting customers to the table. But I saw this group residual income as well. Right. And that looked pretty interesting. Really? Yeah. Right. Well, it sounds like obviously you know you're quite keen to do this seriously. If you if you kind of spotted that, that's really interesting. So, on a scale of one to ten, what's the level of interest? As of we speak now, ten being the highest, one being the lowest. Ten. I'd like to get ten. going. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, are you prepared to get going right away? Yeah. Fantastic. Now, this isn't real life. Okay, we're playing here. Okay, and obviously in real life you're going to get different scenarios. So, for example, if I said I'm an eight. Okay. Now, if Clive said he was an eight, um, that would lead me to believe that not all his questions had been answered. Whenever you have a prospect who is unsure, no matter how unsure about pursuing the opportunity. All it means is they've not had all the information they need. So whether they say I need to be my husband, they need to think about it, all the stuff that we're used to hearing it basically translates to I've not had enough information to make the decision for me. That's what it means. In which case we invite them to exposure three, which is five. Well, if you've got a local career opportunity presentation, that's the way to go. Now we're not going to get into this realm tonight because Time is going to be against us, and we've got some stuff that we want to cover. So next Sunday, we're going to deal with objections. 
and we're going to go to this into much more detail. So right now, let's get back to the situation where me, Clyde, the prospect, you know, really ready to get going, excited, want to do this business, okay? So I said to Dave, yes, I'd like to sign up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, let, let's just very, very quickly recap. They've had the invitation, we've established contact, they've been sent exposure one, the opportunity video, they've confirmed that there's a level of interest, so we've followed up with the set questions, how much you want to earn, how much time you can commit, are you prepared to take a second look? Once they confirm that they're prepared to take a second look, we then show them the money video because you've been speaking about money. You then follow up the money video with a simple question, what did you like best about that video that you've just seen? Okay. Then ask them on a scale of 1 to 10, what's their level of interest? If it's up there, 9 or 10, then I'd say go straight for the let's get you started. Anything less? They've still got questions that need answering, okay? So you need to invite them to Exposure 3, which would be a career opportunity presentation. Yeah, in the area. On the assumption that they want to join, what I'm going to talk to you now is the mechanics or the methodology of how I sign up a distributor or a prospect into a distributor over the phone, long distance. Now, the good news is the actual mechanics and the method of this is almost identical as to how you would sign up a distributor if they were sat here in your living room with you or you were sat in their living room. That's the beauty of what we're doing. The only difference is this. Um, the first thing that we would do is you would have to get the link to your sign-up form. So let me get into the screen share thing again. Okay, and I'll show you the, the link. It's actually really, really, really and, simple. And again, you can actually create you can actually get your own URL which goes directly to your sign up form. I have this in my email signature. My email signature actually says sign up here and it points directly to my yeah. form and you can send and, that straight. And basically it points to this. Now if their browser is unregistered with the utility warehouse, they're not going to get this screen straight away. What they're going to get first is they're going to say enter an ID number, which of course you will have given your prospect. So if you type in your ID number, this is the next screen that's, that you can see now is where they start filling their details in. It's really simple. How long does it take them to do that? It doesn't take very long. I always say three minutes because okay. I believe it can be done in it's, three it's, it's really, 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 really quick. So let's get back into the, the broadcast so we, we can see one another. Here we go. Let's turn off screen share and we'll be back in. Here we go. We're nearly back. And then we, so, so if we talk about the, the actual methodology here, um, one tactic I like to do is I like to make my prospect accountable and I like to teach them about independence. So what I'll actually say to the prospect is, look, I'm going to send you this link. I want you to sign up. It takes three to five minutes. As soon as you've signed up, I want you to call me with your unique ID your unique uh, identification number, and I want you to be looking at the extranet homepage, which is where they're going to get pointed to when they sign up. Okay, so they must call me back within 10 minutes with an ID number and be on their extranet homepage so they're accountable. I'm also making them independent because I'm letting them go off and do it by themselves, which, believe it or not, is a lot easier than you fumbling around on the phone trying to do it with them. Absolutely. Trust me, I've done it, and I've done it, and I've done it, and I know. So this is the homepage that they're going to see on their extranet, isn't it, Dave? It, this is correct. Now, you want to go where? Right. Now, once I return the call, and they've signed up successfully, they have a unique number, and they're on the extranet page. I go through what I call the five stages required to be able to sign up a customer and a distributor, essentially. It's the first five steps. If you remember this, you cannot go wrong in launching a distributor's business. Okay. Now, the first thing I say to my new distributor is, I don't want you to worry about anything on this extranet page. Do not concern yourself because there's lots of lots of cool yeah, stuff going person, on. It's messy, isn't it? And there's loads of cool stuff going on here, and, and they're probably thinking, "Oh God, all this stuff." So it's important that you say to them, "Don't worry about anything. There's only five things that I want you to concern yourself about, and here is the order which I do it in. Number one, when you're on the extranet page." Go to the top of the extranet page 
and click on events because what we're going to do is we're going to get our new distributor booked in to getting started training. Do not let them do this by themselves, okay? You must do this whole process with them. So we go to events and I'll say, Clive, right, if you can click on events booking system for me, please. Certainly, David. Okay. Uh, now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to click on the search tab and you've got two drop down boxes. From the left, I want you to select an event type. I don't want you to worry about anything else at this particular moment. Just click on getting started skills. And from select a city, I want you to select a city that's closest to you that you think you're going to be able to travel to. OK, good stuff. And now we search. Now, at this point, you're going to be listed with uh, some options. Now, realistically, at this point, the new distributor is going to say, well, I might not be able to do that day because of work and something's going on on that day. So you might have to have a little bit of dialogue with them about which is the best uh, event they can go to. But just remember in the back of your mind, you want to get them signed up ASAP. So try to encourage them to book on the next available one. Don't divert to any other part of the extranet until it actually says booking confirmed, and they'll tell you that. So once they have confirmed, what I want you to do is get them to click on the extranet button at the bottom of the page here, because that will take them back home. The next thing I do is I direct them to the right-hand side navigation menu where it says ID cards. And from there, I explain to them that they need to upload their own passport photo to get their ID card sent. It can be a nice, uh, they can take a picture on their iPhone as long as it's a plain background and it looks nice. So that needs to be done. That's, that's, a, that's an Ofcom regulation. So again, that needs to be done. And I explain along the way to the person that we are licensed and regulated by Ofcom and Ofgem. Therefore, these are the steps that we have to go through. So uh, once I've explained ID cards, uh, I go to step three, which is online training. So I then guide them to the training tab. Uh, I then instruct them to click on the online training tab. And then I then instruct them to click on the blue text that says log into training. I then ask them to put in their unique username ID number and the last four digits of their password. Now, this is important because many distributors in the past have spent hours trying to log in by putting in their full password. You only need the last four digits, so you need to stress that to them. And then you go ahead and log in. And all you're going to do is just give them an overview of what you want them to do. And this is all I say. You need to complete all the modules that you see on the screen. And I'd like you to try and do that within the next 24 hours, please. Okay? I also explain to each distributor that it's important to refresh your browser after you've completed each module um, because sometimes it can stick and it will say in progress or not completed. You might get a distributor who says to you, but I completed the module and, and it's saying in progress. Just make sure they refresh the browser once they've done it. That's a very good tip. Yeah, just, just, just work, walk through. Um, each module, what they need to do, it shouldn't take any longer than a couple of minutes. Um, if you get any distributors who have any problems with the online training, um, just make sure that they are using Internet Explorer or Firefox, not Google Chrome, and just make sure it's fully updated and they have Adobe Flash, which is free, installed. You do that and you shouldn't get any problems with any distributors having any problem with online training. So once we've done that, I then come out of this page and I go back home to the extranet. Right, so let's find We can just go back. Can just go yeah, back you've got to click back, click back a few times. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Now, I then proceed to explain to the distributor that once their online training is complete, they will be able to apply for their hosted site. In order to do that, um, they need to make sure that all the modules are completed and they actually say complete. Once that happens, you should be able to go to the bottom of your extranet page, click on um, your business sites, and there should be an option there to apply for your own hosted site, um, which you'll be able to do and you'll be able to pick a name. It'll be in that area, It'll be, but obviously this one has already, you know, we've already got that. It will be in this, it will be in this area, so explain to the distributor that they'll need to check back um, and just make sure that that's, that's live. Yeah, it could take 8, 12, 15 hours, but they, they need to keep an eye on that. 
Once that step is complete, um, and this is part of step four, you'll need to explain to them that once their online site is up and running, they then need to sign themselves up as a customer. Now, it's important they do it this way through their own website because they want to be their own customer and they want to qualify their position, they want to get their, their starter bonus, um, so the best way is for them to become their own gold customer, um, which they'll be able to do through their own, their own hosted site, which will be made available to them uh, once they've completed their online training. And they can use the join the club or, or, or the, the utility. It's best to do the join the club. It is best to, yeah, it is best to use the join the club. Um, a lot of the company because the other one's going to the other one's going to disappear before yes, very long. Yeah, correct, yeah. correct. Uh, and then the final stage is uh, step five. Uh, doesn't involve the extranet. Uh, we talk about the list. Now, the list is the skeleton to your business, um, and the people that you're that you're dealing with here, these prospects, they never they're not going to know what a list is in relation to this business. So you need to explain to them that they need to be coming up with a list for at least 90 people, okay? That's really, really important. Uh, names, numbers, home numbers, mobile numbers, email addresses from their center of influence, people they know, businesses, people they love, people they hate, literally everybody. And what I do is I actually send them a copy of the Eric Worre Memory Jogger, which is also available at our Facebook group here. Um, in the tools and resources which you can send to them. Um, Got it? Because if people are struggling with a list, I've seen people with a, a memory jogger go from 50 to 400. So it's important that you send them that tool. Um, and and it, it really is, uh, excuse me, really yeah. you know, but I, I, I've seen lots of memory joggers in the 30 years I've been in the industry. It's probably the best memory jogger that I've ever seen. It, it's absolutely superb. Yeah. And all of this really needs to be complete by the time they've done their getting started training. I will always say all these tasks must be done by the getting started training. ID badge, own customer, hosted site, list by the time you've done your getting started training. And the other thing too, you'll remember that in broadcast one, I think it was, we talked about creating a list. You know, we talked about how important it was to do this before they're getting, as Dave just said, before they're getting started skill session. And you, know, you really work with them, you know, get them around for a coffee and stuff like that. Long distance, I know you have to go over the phone, okay? But you really help them build that list. And you can also help them giving the, the hot script as opposed to the warm script that's in broadcast one. So they can get some customer appointments lined up to the day after they've done their getting started skills training. Okay? And, and the beauty of all of this is, you know, face to face or over the phone, it's not that dissimilar. This whole process. It's pretty much a carbon copy, whether it's over the phone or face to face. Yes, I mean the only thing is we don't have this video thing. Exactly. You know, exactly. I mean, if you do have this video thing, you can do it. Interesting. Because I don't want to overload my new distributor with information. Once all the formalities are out of the way, um, the first thing that I talk to them about is getting involved with the utility warehouse family. That is fundamentally important. There are two types of distributors. There are family members and there are orphans. Yeah, and when Dave says that, and directs me, yeah. it's really the group family, okay, as opposed to any other family. This, the, the, you'll see in in the Facebook in the group pages that are and you know, run by Diana, for example, and in Leach Ross, and in the other groups like the people like uh, Martha Souza and Carl Snails and um, um, oh, all sorts of people. There's lots of them. You look at those group pages and they're extremely positive, extremely nurturing. Dave's page is the same, okay? And it's important that they lock into it, particularly if they're long distance. This is where social media is really useful. One thing that I will do whenever I recruit a new distributor, I will have five of my key team members send them a welcome Facebook message saying, you know, give us a call, let's have a chat, uh, welcome to the team. Um, I'll make sure that my new distributor is on my Facebook, tapping into all my resources, but most importantly, getting to know the rest of the team because that ultimately is the duplication. Once you have a distributor who becomes part of your family, all the dupli duplicable things that the distributors are doing, they will start to do because of the rules of association. So talking to people every day, um, 
for personal development, attendings, meetings, and events, you can reel all that off to the person and overload them. I wouldn't do that. I just say get involved with the family. Boom. Yeah. And it's as easy as that. The law of association really starts to rub off. The law of association exactly. will make them do it. Yeah. Now, I think that's I think that's good, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So I, I think first of all, I wanted you to hear this straight from Dave rather than from me. The reason I wanted to hear from Dave rather than from me is he's doing it. Okay, he's doing it lots. Well, unfortunately, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I just need to give you some information. I've got to pick up my journal here to make sure I get this right. Um, you, you know this is our, uh, our fifth broadcast. And uh, you'll remember a couple of weeks ago we had Eric Warrior on as a guest. And you remember that um, the broadcast didn't exactly go as according to plan. Um, That's another mistake. Yeah, I, could, I think it's probably <laughs> the, the Monty Python of all broadcasts that you'll ever see in your life. It's still up there. You can still watch it and have a good giggle. And there's some good content there as well before it just descends and there's a chaos. So um, with that in mind, um, and having talked to the good people at yourvision.com, uh, uh, Lisa, Lisa Grossman and Curtis Broom, who got us into this, Lisa's introduced us to a lady in California, a lady called Colin DeBray, who's been helping us massively with this, and uh, has suggested some ways to be more uh, useful for us and easier for you to access this information. So this coming week, we're actually moving this hub to a page which is being specially created for our group. Okay, it's just for our group. It's a special creation, and we're really lucky that we've had somebody guide us to how to do this because by ourselves we'd have never got there, would we? Really. But I might have. Oh, my <laughs> but, but, No, 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 we wouldn't. We no, really we wouldn't. wouldn't. <laughs> so, hats off to them. Thank you very much for the advice. So, what's going to happen is this uh, we're going to upload this video as normal so you can watch the recording as normal. And we're going to leave that in situ for a few days. Uh, in the next couple of days, we're going to announce this new page and we're going to announce it on, on this. On this here, it's this way. This, there you go. This, this, you this is this is key, guys. This is what you need to get here. Yeah. Okay? So the link's going to be there, and you'll only need that link. Now, as the platform grows and we get a few people following us, putting us in there, joining Google Plus, and putting us in our circles, we'll get a short, snappy, memorable name because we'll prove to Google that we really exist and we're nice people. So I need your help to do that. Going forward. When you see this brand page, this group page, people will be able to go to it. They won't need to join Google Plus to watch our broadcasts. But if they wish to interact with the questions and answers uh, column, which is over here, okay, if you, if you, to, to, to communicate with us whilst we're broadcasting, to ask us questions, okay, you need to join Google Plus. And there's a button on the top of the page saying join Google Plus. And if you want to, do it. Only takes a couple of minutes. It's dead simple. Now, next week, next week we're covering objections, which is really, I really, really, really would like you to join Google Plus so you can actually get into this live question and answer thing. Um, Dana, Dave, and I, all three of us are going to be involved with that one, which is going to be um, organized chaos. We'll have some fun, okay? Um, but we'll answer your questions. And we've got some set stuff that we want to cover anyway. The week after, we have a very special guest, uh, somebody that you already know and love. Uh, the guy that's created, run, and driven the fastest growing team in the entire distributor channel, Stefan Longworth. So next week is Objections. The following week is Stefan Longworth. Awesome. Watch out the links on, on, this, on this here. Okay, get this. There you go. Got it. Got it. And make sure all your team members are joining, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, absolutely. Send this link to each and every one of them because it's invaluable. So if you want your business to grow, if you want to become non-essential to your income, you share this link. And if you have been, thank you for watching. That's goodbye from me, and it's. Goodbye for goodbye for me. <laughs> yeah. okay. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.